Hello everyone and welcome to the layout update on Silson Steam Oh, there's my finger. Silson Steam Railway. September 2018. And you can see the biggest update is it's running again. Which I'm so happy about. Now I'm gonna go over what's been done, what's um to do. So I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, otherwise my phone's gonna die. So first things first, yes, I've done the wiring, the train's running again. As you can see, it's been soldered in, which was uh, scary. Um, controls are here. This one is completely fine. This one's a bit dodgy. Nothing to do with the wires, just a controller. Because when I first started putting it together at home, it got dropped. And the pin socket inside this controller uh, got damaged. So this wire has to be moved to the right a bit and up, so a, like a diagonal. I keep it going, otherwise, you know, uh, St. George stops. You could just have to move it then to keep it going. See, now it's stopped. Oh, sorry about this. So there we go. I can't stop the video, otherwise, you know, the recording will stop there. I finally managed to get everyone in the memorial standing up, and the names Dave and Chris are going to be put in the ground here as well as that I've finally got Fiona's cafe here this is something I've been working in the background now these benches uh, there's going to be at least four of them but they are incredibly fiddly to put together so they might take a while now, these sleepers are going to be put together in a square or rectangle position here because I was always thinking to myself what can I do to fill that space in? And I decided I'm going to put a playground in there. So the sleepers are going to form kind of like the barrier uh, foundation. And then I'm going to fill it with, um, I think it's Javis Sandscasse. And then I'm going to put the playground on top. So that'll be good. Uh, what else have I done? Ah, yes. I decided to add some little uh, grass shrubs to this field. And to be honest, I actually like how it's come along. There was also going to be a gate put in here. And then I'm going to put little, um... Oh, I can't think of the name. Resin tents, or is it resin? Resin, uh, the same stuff that uh, the Scaledale platforms are made out of. So there's going to be a bunch of tents in there, and there's going to be some soldiers and marines in there. Um, the marching soldiers that are going to go here... I'm going to start drilling the holes probably next week after the steam gala and start getting them all in. But for now, I'm just focused on getting the benches done because they're so annoying. But the soldiers should, should be in by the next update. And you'll see that Normandy is pulling two Queen Marys instead of Daphne. Now, Daphne has been playing up for quite some time. And... As of not too long ago, when I did the Ribble Valley Railway running session, I tried running Daphne around a few times, and it kept on stopping. So I took it all apart, and then I discovered that one of the pickups had completely broken off. So Daphne is now a static exhibit, as well as the... Well, the Sentinel isn't static, it runs, but it's just here for the looks. So, until I get a new uh, part for this from Hornby, definitely is static. When it is running again, I'll do a video on how to put it back in. So, for now, we've got uh, Normandy over there. And also, I don't know if you can see it. There, the Andrew Barkley. I'll actually show you something that I did. If you're not on the Facebook page, go and have a look. I've actually put the Flying Scotsman headboard on the Barclay, which I'm actually pretty happy about. Although people who don't like Flying Scotsman are going to hate me. Oh well. So, s there's been a lot done. Um, as well as the little shrubs over there, I've lined the entrance with them. I've also put some here at the edge of the memorial, and just in front of the TARDIS. These girders, I don't know if I've already said this, but these girders will be here, and the shelter will be here, 
by maybe next week so next update again and these cars probably won't be staying here for too long except the BMW and the Jag because I'm planning on getting some classic uh, racing cars or just classic cars in general and they will be going there instead and then there'll be a few more people dotted around having a look and as well for the stations the narrow, uh, narrow gauge and the standard gauge I'm planning on putting um, a canopy over this one and a small shelter over that one. So when that's done, uh, you'll see it on the Facebook page. Um, and I can't think of much else. Uh, oh yes, uh, trees are going to be added in other places around the layout as well, not just at the entrance and at the station. Just to give it a, a bit more life and a bit more level so it's not as flat. And around here, I'm going to be putting some cones around the coal stack because that's how it's done here at Ribble. We've got the coal stack and then we've got uh, traffic cones lining them. Uh, so at night, you don't just run into the coal. You can uh, see there's um, cones there in the dark and they'll light up to say, hey, there's a giant pile of coal here, don't drive into it. So I think... That is pretty much it for this update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me with some of the uh, shorter, less trained videos that I've done. I'm sorry about that, but for now, I'm back. I'm doing YouTube again. I'm doing trains again. I'm doing the layout. Can't wait to get it done or get working on it again. It's never going to be done. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and a good comment. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and a bad comment. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. And see you later. Bye-bye now.